I got going on YouTube. I'm sorry to interrupt the video. If y'all don't want to hear this, you could just skip into like four minutes into the video and get straight into the vlog. But to the people that want to hear this, open up your eyes, open up your ears, and I got some important information for y'all. I know a lot of people have been asking me, how do you grow on social media? How do you generate income? It's a lot of different questions that I get asked because it's a lot of people that want to be influencers, entrepreneurs, business owners, and all these different things. Figure out a way not only to answer y'all questions, but to do something even better. I've always been the ghost family, and we always gonna be the ghost family. But I want to be able to elevate the people that surround me and the people that want to learn and the people that want to be in a position where they could be around like-minded people and grow together. What I did is I created a paid community called the Ghost Family, y'all. Only $45 a month to the next 100 people because yes, the price is going up and the community is only growing and getting bigger and better, man. Join this community for just $45. You're going to learn how to be a successful six to seven figure entrepreneur, business owner, or influencer, whatever your choice may be. Be in a community full of like-minded hustlers and entrepreneurs doing exactly what you're doing. They might be in a position where you at or they might be in a position past you, which is the whole point of a community because what I want y'all to understand is when you're in a community, you're around people that could provide resources to you that you wouldn't have access to inside the regular world. Now, what I mean by that is, when you're creating a business and you're starting everything, a lot of stuff is trial and error. Same thing when it goes to being an influencer on YouTube. You have to play with it until you figure out what's going to work for you. But when you get in this community, you're around people that's doing everything that you're doing so you can learn from their errors. You can get connections from their connections. Say you was a person that was trying to create your brand, but you didn't have the clothing designer that you needed or you didn't have the graphic designer. Now you do. Say you were a YouTuber, but you didn't have a cameraman. You didn't know how to edit. Now you do. This community is here to provide y'all not only with the information you need to be a successful person to make six, seven figures, but also provide you with the connections to push you forward in life because a lot of times there's people that have talent, there's people that have knowledge, but there is a person that has connections that will surpass you. Y'all ever watch Double XL and it be that one person rapping that you never heard of? It's a good example, y'all. He either A, got a good management team, a good AR, or he has some type of connections that got him into the position he's in. Sometimes connections surpass talent. But that's why I'm providing you a community that gives you both. When you join this community, not only are you getting the information that you need in order to be successful, you get him plugged in with people that you wouldn't be able to see on a regular day-to-day -day basis without going and saying hey to everybody. You're able to meet these people and see exactly what these people could do and see what these people's skills are without having to go outside and have a conversation with these people. Now when you're in this community, networking is 10 times as easy. You're in a community where you have access to all the people that you would have to go outside and go meet on a regular day-to-day -day basis. Now your graphic designers, clothing brand owners, influencers, marketers, and whatever the case may be is all inside this one community working with you. And it's only for $45, y'all. Hey, man. I want y'all to know it costs more to eat throughout the month. It costs more for rent in your car than $45. $45 is one meal, man. So if you can't spend that on your future, I don't know how you expect to get anywhere, y'all. You got to take sacrifice and take risk in order to make it far in life. Beyond all that, when you join the Ghost Family, you're going to be in a community full of hustlers and entrepreneurs, bro. It's information there and modules that teach you about credit building, being an influencer, monetizing your social media, growing your business, marketing, uh, doing shorts. It's a lot of stuff in there. It teaches you about the algorithms and everything you're going to need to be successful on and off the internet. I have weekly live calls every Sunday. The Ghost Family links up and we get together and we talk about business. I answer all the questions you have and we get together to try to create some type of situation where we can all learn and get on the same page because sometimes there's people ahead and sometimes there are people behind, but the group calls is to make sure that everybody's in the same place. Special guests dropping in sometimes like Hollywood, Shaq, Capri, and a lot of different people you could think of. Not only influencers, but business owners and people all across the board. You might have an opportunity to talk to your favorite influencer and ask him a question about business, life, or anything that you wouldn't have been able to ask him on a regular day-to-day -day basis just walking outside. That's what a community is for. A community is for the networking. A community is for you be able to provide information to people and help people around you because a lot of times what people don't understand is it's easy to get where you want to be by yourself, but it's way easier when you got people that all have the same common goal. I want y'all to understand the things that run this world are corporations, the businesses that have multiple people. Now, mind you, Jeff Bezos might be the front of Amazon. He's the face, right? Right? But if it wasn't for the people to drive the trucks, work on the assembly lines, the people who put your packages and wrap it in bubble wrap, 
that business would not be a billion dollar operation. So you always gotta have a team. You always gotta have some type of networking situation, some type of community. Providing y'all with in-depth social media guides, in-depth clothing brand guides, and we got a lot of information from a lot of y'all favorite clothing brand owners teaching y'all how to scale your business. In-depth guide on YouTube and content creation for all of my content creators. And I'm providing a step-by-step -step guide on how to grow and monetize your TikTok and make more than 10K a month just like me. Who would I be to tell y'all to join a community full of winners if I didn't show y'all some of our wins? You can take a look right here and see, bro. I've helped some people scale their TikTok to over $10,000 a month in revenue. I have people that I've scaled from over zero subs to a thousand subs, zero views on their video to their first a thousand views on their video, and it's much more you can see right here where I've just been helping people and really trying to get people to grow and really trying to get people to make money off of their platforms, whether it's business or personal business, grow your social media, monetize, market. My goal is to make sure that I show you everything you need to do in order to be able to win, whether it's using your face or not using your face on the internet. Man, we got community rewards, and every week, y'all, we are choosing a new winner, y'all. You might have a chance to win money. You might have a chance to win a flight. It might be a shout out, a promotion. You never know, y'all, but we are providing these folks with all types of opportunities for only $45 a month, y'all. I want y'all to know that it's only $45 a month to the next 100 people, though. The spaces are going out fast. There's already 220 plus people in this community, man. You don't want to miss being a part of it. Last but not least, y'all, I'm providing y'all with 24-7 support and access to me because I know a lot of people be wanting to talk to me. A lot of people got problems. A lot of people just have questions in general, bro. And now you got access to talk to me anytime throughout the day because we always in here. And if I can't respond to you, somebody from the community can. And I want y'all to know that this is a safe place for y'all to come in here, learn, grow, and we can grow with each other. So all I'm going to say is, man, if y'all want to be a part of Ghost Family, y'all go click the link in my description for more info, man. And I hope to see y'all there, man. But let's get straight into the video. I got going on YouTube. Say it is cool, Casper. And we is back with another day in the life of Casper, man. I ain't gonna lie, I told y'all it was gonna be two parts to the Colorado trip, man, so this is part two. But it also got a couple of my uh, first days back in Atlanta, man, so y'all get to see what happened when I got back to the city. Not gonna hold y'all, though, without a further ado, let's get straight into the vlog, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Say this gas station, the name of it be freaky as hell, the come and go, I what you but they got everything in here, y'all. They got uh icy machines. We got we got milkshake machine. Don't say fuck me, girl. Hell wrong with you. Milkshake machine. Say don't say fuck me unless you gon' fuck me. Ugly. We got the mixology machine. You never seen the goddamn machine where you press it at the top to get your drink. Oh, it ain't gonna let me do it. It's a smart machine. What the hell? Water? Oh, they been not going. Oh yes it do. LeBron just cooked up. But he just went OG. Oh, God, bro. he just cooked up. He just got a large, he got a small. I'll take a large two coin, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro, he need extravagant hot chocolate with the with the whipped cream dispenser machine. Say, oh, you shouldn't have, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Hershey's. And I go double down with Lunchable Mall. They say we is in St. Louis, y'all. Why they Taco Bell look like that? That's a that's an old ass Taco Bell. Taco Bell from 2005. Oh God, 2005, 2005 Taco Bell. That boy, that boy, baby, boy's not that child. So yeah, we, we is in St. Louis. Woo! But why the hell is a random ass horse oh, just standing shit. right there? What the fuck? Oh. Nigga, there's a random ass oh. horse on the side of the road, oh, just <laughs> chilling. Nigga, like a wild ass. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> in the middle of the trenches, though. Bro, twin, that nigga was just chilling, cuz. Random horse in the middle of the trenches. Random, <laughs> random horse in the middle of the hood is crazy, y'all. Where is your owner, bro? Uh, it's like we in the GTA map or something, though, y'all. What the hell? All these bridges uh, and shit. Damn, damn. 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 I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't, I don't know what St. Louis remind me of, but it looked like somewhere I've been before. <laughs> Whatever. It do look like somewhere I've been before. Oh Middle edge, people fine. It's just so sweet. I'm gonna call it a color for black. I just asked about that, but she wouldn't even understand how black that is. Oh, you don't understand the truth of me. Oh, God. 
What she had on? Be out here playing Tetris and shit. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck she just had on? Nah, what the fuck is this? Oh, hey, bro. I, I bet they be drop. I bet they be dropping hella niggas off of this bridge, mama. Say, say. Hey, hey, nah, man. It's look like where they be dropping niggas off the bridge in the movies and shit, dumping their ass with concrete on their body. The harbor. Goodbye, little nigga. Meet the harbor. Bro, this look like that fucking um, river off Saints Road, bro. That's what I'm saying? This shit like a video game. Oh, shit, are we under this shit? Yeah, are we? But where the fuck, okay, boy? Huh? But where the hell we at, boy? Parking what way? My mama just brought us to the middle of is fucking it nowhere. It says gateway to the arch is that it's straight ahead, and it says parking is to the right. Yeah, but how? Where the fuck, boy? By way the fault, oh, by. you go down there and park. Okay, I got it. There's the archway. I see. How yeah. do you do all of this? This is wild. Oh, wow. This shit little at fault. By way the fault, by. Oh, wow. By way the hell. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, Wowzers. I might not be able to pee. No, we'll be okay. We got it, guys. Ten dollars for arch it? parking. Who got ten bucks? I don't got ten dollars in cash, cash, but. Right. I don't carry cash, mom. I know, is it cash? Shit, All I got is. Yeah, I only got two dollars in my pocket. Okay, cool. You better take card, nigga. Whoever pays for it, I'll send it to you. I can go it, cash it, take out the cash. Baby, go so we finna go to we finna go to the St. Louis Bridge. Mm -hmm. Baby roast. How St. Louis looking wicked, job. <laughs> Like they drop niggas off the bridge right there. He finna be sleeping with the fucking fishes. <laughs> Sleep with the fucking fishes, nigga. Helicopter, helicopter. How much is it? Probably like two hundred dollars. That how much it was when I did a helicopter in Atlanta. Yeah, I'm not doing a helicopter tour. This is weird. Oh, hell no. Helicopter tours. Bro, why you all up on me, bro? Bro, don't lick my land, freak ass yeah, nigga. What you doing? Helicopter, helicopter. Big eye, big eye, there, boy. Nigga say the big ass arch, y'all. It was that hill. That hill was deceiving. It made it look like it just ended, goddammit. So we just an hour behind now, ain't it, man? Like on time? It's not two hours no more, right? You didn't answer my question, lady. Oh, I don't know. I got no out She told me it's five o'clock. I, I could see that. It's not what I asked. <laughs> wow, let's go jump in the, in the water. I'll give you $100 coin. i get give $100. Jump in, jump out. Riverboat cruises. We supposed to be coming to see this shit. Yeah, we're walking to see this archway right here. Shit, I see how you get to it. You just walk up these stairs and shit, but... Yeah, that's it. But wait, baby, go where the hell we at, bro? Put him in his bag. My Bobby, I told him he fucking... 25K. Right now, y'all, we Yo, is in... Uh, <laughs> where, where this is, Mama? St. Louis? Right now, we are in St. Louis, y'all. We coming to look at the arts, man. We right here by the, the water and the bridges and the harbor. Damn, who that is with them yummy yeeks over there bitten in that Jeep Lee? Tell her. I could just fix every problem. JF, JFE, EP, just fix every problem. JEEP stands for just expect every problem, y'all. Jeep, G helicopter, helicopter. But yeah, man, we is in St. Louis, AKA the Windy City. I see what they call it, this shit, because it's definitely wind out this bitch. Oh, that's Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Oh, we ain't in Illinois. I'm, I'm misinformed. Don't let me tell y'all something wrong. Do y'all research before y'all listen to these influencers. These niggas be slick dumb. The motherfucking arch. Motherfucking St. Louis. That boy said he want to climb to the top of the arch and jump off. Oh, brother. Oh God. Hey, hey, Quan, you know they got a call for suicide. They do. Oh. They sure. Say so they got a suicide hotline, Brody. Hello. 
walking up on the big ass arch. Elevator and shit. It's an elevator in the arch? Yeah. I don't know how far up it goes. Oh, God. It you you going through the curve? It says there's Freaky a Freaky ass goddamn elevator. <laughs> I ain't trying to go through the curve in no arch, nigga. Huh? <laughs> nigga, elevator start going this way, <laughs> tilted sideways. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that, but okay. Oh, look at that nigga. He going straight up. Legit. Where the hell the groundhog at? What the fuck, y'all? It's a goddamn groundhog. Y'all see that nigga? Hold up. That was nasty work. What the fuck? Hey, hey, Quan, let's go hunt him down. No. Not, not literally. I'm finna put him on my vlog. He gonna come back out. Where? Oh, he right there. He looking out of it. Bro, he big as fuck. Mama, what the hell? Bro, that nigga hole big as hell, ma. Bro, it's a groundhog hole, y'all. Shh. They nah, y'all. We right underneath the St. Louis art. That shit is crazy. It says it's one thing to look at it from a distance, but it's a whole nother to be underneath this motherfucker, y'all. They got a, a little elevator to take you to the top of this bitch. It's crazy to think they got an elevator to take you somewhere in a curved ass arc, though. Head up. Ugly. Even in St. Louis, you got free codes with BBLs doing photo shoots. No cap, no kids. I don't, lie, I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but why is the moon right in the middle of the arch? Y'all see the moon? It's crazy. Seeing the moon out during the daytime be crazy in general, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. We got an automated skateboard, y'all. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. That's, that's why they be saying folks gonna end up being fat and unhealthy though. And we're gonna be walking around this bitch looking like the people off Wally and floating chairs. Because they just find more and more ways to just make things simpler. Why you, why you don't want to push your leg? I mean, I get it, bro. You get where you're going faster, but I feel like that defeats the whole point of having a skateboard. Huh? That real. It's like my mama, just, my mama just said she's traveled more places with me than any of her other kids. But I mean, we go a lot of places together, though. It's like my mama just about everywhere for real, for real. 713, so let's see. Baby shuttles. Come on. It's geese. Ugh. That boy done peed in like 20 different states now, y'all. That boy baby goes marking his territory all across the world. Why y'all? They say we in the we in the goddamn trenches of uh, St. Louis. Why the hell it was like five young niggas just walking with like some old ass female. Them, them boys was them boys just paid for prostitution. They all just tipped in. 20 bucks to get some sucky wuckies. <laughs> Baby Ghost, if your ass don't stop fucking with shit under these goddamn seats, I swear to God, you're going in your bag. Mom, get your dog from under the seat because you don't want to put him on the floor. Bruh, sit down, bro. Yo ass on punishment, gang. You ate my Lunchable earlier, bro. Sit down, bro. You know, bro, you be trimmed. What this supposed to be, y'all? This shit look like almost like some little buildings, y'all. So right now, we is at like some type of art park, and it's a whole bunch of sculptures and stuff out here. So we finna walk around and look at these bitches, y'all. They talking about sculptures hibernate too. Hey, that. What the hell is this little random ass shit right here? The real question: Where the fuck my mama go? She said she was down here. Shit, she probably down here somewhere, lost in the sauce. What the hell is this? It's an abstract sculpture. Oh, this is a big version of the little version. What the hell? It's literally just a bigger version of the other one. Damn, mama all the way down there. She walking towards the big ass deer. Big ass deer? Oh, I see it. Damn, y'all look at this big ass eyeball though. Yeah, whoever fucking... I got it, bit detailed as fuck, y'all. Yeah. Uh, detail, that little eyeball. Ooh, 
walk into the pupil. Stupid. Really glad. <laughs> Dumb ass. Oh yeah, cut it. Cut a girl on his side. Nigga, it's a fucking in the tree. I seen that bit. But yeah, he played that girl on his side. For real? Mm -hmm. I ain't see bro. Right For real? Yeah. I did not see that nigga twin. He fuck got a whole little raindrop type situation. That's crazy as hell on God you could climb up there and live in that bitch. It's a whole ass tent in a tree to look like a raindrop, y'all. Finna go look at that big tire in the other show, my mom. I'm <laughs> Why you ain't get no um champs chicken? Oh. <laughs> it's the same as crispy cream. You just being picky, buddy. Shit, they ain't stopped at the gas station. They ain't stopped cause everybody eating at the gas station and shit. Mm -hmm. I can't even see what the shit what the fuck that shit says. When I fall, let me fall. Without oh, without yeah. regret yeah, like a leaf. I don't get that one. Without regret like a leaf. Damn, it's a nigga duck. Bro, they got shit all over this bitch ducked off. Big ass got down tire. Let me go pet my friend. Little bro. It's Frodo. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. He forgot the big ass deer sculpture out this bitch. Hmm. Why don't feel like hearing that bitch in that shit? <laughs> Boy, it's like a little ass kid, gang. You don't think everybody hungry? What build he ho? Yeah, yeah. Oh God, nigga, this shit tall as fuck. Oh. Shit. Tall ass goddamn deer, y'all. It's Bambi. <laughs> that motherfucker tall as shit. Damn, what did motherfucker just start running? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, y'all see how tall this shit is compared to me? If this shit got to running, I'm running too. Nope. What the hell? Bambi. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This deer the size of a, a real life giraffe, Quan. You heard me? Mm -hmm. Say, so this bit, this bit the size of a fucking giraffe, y'all. Yeah. Tony. Tony. Tony Tacit. Say, so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't know what this sculpture is, but this bitch kind of, it's kind of intriguing. Oh, half of her face is missing. Where the fuck is the other half of her face? Huh? It's closed. Why the hell it been missing half her face? Where the other half of her face at? Oh. The other half of her face is hidden on this side. You gotta come look at it, twin. This shit weird. Yeah, bro. When you walk around the side, look. This shit probably look different from different angles, twin. Because the body cutting happened. Update, by a prominent yeah. respected artist on television. It is oh, like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our next guest is a world famous rapper and artist who crib. claims that Jews run South Hollywood. Park. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, well gonna, mostly I just mean that Jews control everything but, they see yeah. on TV and a movie. I got um, why do you not want to show your looks. face right now? But that's just because I just want to. Um, his name is Cobb. And he can totally retaliate me because he's like run Hollywood. Yeah, and Jews try to silence people out of town, especially black people. Yeah, I take my sleep. Just because of all the up, lady, Hopefully, we should be in Atlanta, y'all. So, you know, black people are really hurt by the Jews. 
Yeah, so Henry actually wasn't a bad guy. Yeah, whoa, 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 me. That's going a bit too far. And then when I wake up, I'm going to edit this video so I can post these bitch because I'm trying to be more consistent and shit. No idea. I got to fix the windshield on my bed. And I got to drop that bitch off to get something done to it. But yeah, man. I just wanted to update y'all, folks. Say this South Park shit be trimming, y'all. Okay, wait, wait, cut, hang on. Let's try it again. I think you forgot the words. Yeah, sorry. I'm just tired. I didn't get the best sleep but last yeah. night. Maybe I should do the mom part. See y'all nah, in you Atlanta. Do the kid part. It's funny. Okay, yeah. I or guess you call the shot. I might see y'all a little bit sooner. Depending What's on that supposed wake to mean? Up, just means you're in deuce. charge. Yeah, man, we got, but, but we, but we down, just, we down, just tut, little bro. Oh, now nah, we, we kind of over the, we kind of over the line back here. Look at the lady. The lady over here looking at us, y'all. <laughs> the parking lady. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't, I don't. She's gonna make you straighten it out, son. Fucking God. Damn. Oh, she said. She said I got you. I got this. You're so kind, blue-haired lady. All right, now y'all, we is back into the vlog, man. We is in Ruby Falls. AKA uh, Lookout Mountain. Look out Mountain. We was in Tennessee though, everybody. Yeah, look at this snack pack. Look at this snack pack. It's a snack pack. Thir 13, 13, what the fuck it is, Lee? When it got the Super B on it, 13, 13, 20. Hell yeah, yeah, we got a little 13, 20, y'all. Yeah, Super B. Hey, hey, Quan, 13, 20. That's what I said, it's a 13, 20. This motherfucker is hard. This the new one, twin. Oh my god, that boy just, boy just came through Trump. <laughs> say, say this the best snack pack in the world right here. Ugh, that motherfucker really hard. Because it, it don't look the same, it kind of look different. The purple one look better though. But we just finna go inside Lookout Mountain. If y'all don't know what Lookout Mountain is, it's like this mountain that got like a, a elevator in it that goes to the bottom of it. You ain't never heard no elevator in the mountain before, nigga. But, until y'all could come to Tennessee to experience it yourself, y'all finna be able to experience it through the vlog, cause I'ma show y'all everything, like on the camera behind the scenes, going in, going out, going up, going down. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> but y'all know, y'all know what the fuck I mean. But I see y'all folks when we get there. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all being at the top of a mountain is crazy. So, but you see the whole the whole town from here, y'all. Uh -uh. That boy Lee just woke up and ate raisin canes for breakfast. <laughs> bro, bro, let kill this, bro. That boy got chicken and shit on his lips. <laughs> Say, damn. You see the whole fucking city from here, y'all. This shit is. Fuck Chattanooga. Fuck Chattanooga, twin. What's wrong with Chattanooga? I fucking hate this shit. Ruby Falls. Mountain ticket against are the only ones that go upstairs. I got a ticket, so we going. Uh, go <laughs> Alright. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hey look, huh? Ladybug. Good luck. It's a bobcat. 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. After seeing the, uh, what was that yesterday, twin? A groundhog? After seeing the groundhog yesterday, y'all? I don't know what I see outside nowadays. That's my first time ever seeing the groundhog. I mean, you know, like, I knew that it was real, but it almost be seeming like some fictional shit until you see it for real, for real. Shit! Shit! Oh, they got zip line up there. So we're going to the top of the tower, y'all. Skyline Loft Private Event Venue. But these stairs sound like these motherfuckers need some oil, boy. What the fuck, boy? Say we is at the top of Ruby Falls, y'all. I think I might have one in my pocket. A quarter. That's lit. Say, let me see when you. Let me see for it ends. Just one quarter. Right? I think. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't shooting there. You lit. Okay. Right. Look through there. What you see? Whoa. What's in there? What it look? What it look like? <laughs> <laughs> he said I can see so far. <laughs> I see traffic moving. <laughs> he told me I see traffic moving. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why you got your leg? <laughs> what you mean? Nah. What, like zoom him? Zoom him out? Oh yeah, you started looking at the road. <laughs> It's hard to control these bitches. It's big as hell. Hold this one. Let me see. Wait, click record, bro. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see the city. Okay. Yeah, this shit. I see what you're saying, bro. This shit make you feel like your head heavy as hell or something. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at no more. What is this? Oh, this is the highway again. That's the water. Look over here. Look at this shit. Quan, you better get in for that bit. Get in. It's blurry though, bro. Like, you can see through that bit, but like. My shit is blurry as hell. This shit was blurry? Yeah. Alright, so we in the gift shop right now, y'all. They got birds made out of the crystals from in the cave. They got snakes made out of crystals from in the cave. Everything is made from materials out the cave, y'all. This shit is crazy. Then you come over here. You got different little magnets and stuff like that, y'all. This is Ruby Falls. This is why they actually call it Ruby Falls. So when you go on the inside of the cave, there's basically going to be like a... I'm trying to see if I can find something to show you. So if you go on the inside of the cave, it's basically going to be a waterfall on the inside of the cave with lights behind it. Y'all gonna see them when we go down the elevator and stuff because y'all gonna be able to see everything with me. But Ruby Falls is crazy, y'all. When you go on yeah, Ruby, for real. But yeah, when you go on Ruby Falls, y'all, they got a cave with crystals. They got a cave with uh, lights dropping out of a waterfall. And then that's the outside. Let me see. Yeah, that boy got the Ruby Falls motherfucker. And then he got this one. This bitch hard. But yeah, y'all, like I said, you got the crystal cave, you got the waterfall with lights behind it, and then you got the outside of Ruby Falls. I could barely clear it up, but y'all can see this shit. I feel like y'all should be able to see it. Okay, there we go. Now it's a little bit clearer. Gonna buy souvenirs for all my homes in one place. Bro, so cool. <laughs> bro, such a, a RN. And my grandma. Such a RN, bro. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, this is the waterfall with the lights inside of it. 
Now mind y'all, these are fake crystals, but they got real crystals inside the cave, just like this. Uh, so right now we are going inside of the cave to the elevator. This is where we started at. We started at Ruby Falls. We're going through the elephant's foot and all of this good stuff. You got the LED passage, you got the Hall of Dreams, you got the waterfall, you got the crystal places and all types of different stuff. And then finally, you get to the last little waterfall. Got like a computer that shows uh, the elevator and basically how fast the elevator is going and how many people are on it. I don't lie, y'all, that's crazy. Um, we're going to go down 260 feet, right. and we're going to do it in 30 seconds. In 30, 260 feet in 30 seconds? What's the miles per hour on that? About seven Whoa. and a quarter. It's not really that fast. Okay. It just, it just sounds fast. 600 feet per minute. How fast? fast? It sounds fast. It looks fast. Say, I mean, I mean, it don't look as fast as it sounds, but... <laughs> <laughs> Is this yours, Pop? Yeah. Yeah. Your step ahead. Say, we are going down through a cave, y'all. I'm gonna reach around so I get the yes, doors sir. unlocked. Everybody be extra careful when you step off the elevator. Welcome, everybody. All right. You guys are gonna come right out this way. Logan is your tour guide. Logan's gonna meet you right at the bottom of the ramp, so just make your way down to the bottom. It smells like a cave in here, y'all. Logan? Where's Logan? <laughs> say, say they told us about Logan, but where's Logan at? <laughs> say we is in a cave, y'all. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it smell crazy in here, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Tell you. <laughs> it smell it smell like wet dog in here. <laughs> hey look, Lee. High, high school field trips? This this why they couldn't never take us on high school field trips. Alright y'all, so uh, welcome to Ruby Falls, my name's Logan, I'm going to be your tour guide today. Uh, I actually live on Lookout Mountains, if you guys have any questions about the area, something to do, somewhere to go, somewhere to eat, literally anything, feel free to ask. But uh, here at Ruby Falls, I get to know where everybody's from, so I'm going to flip this conversation on to you guys. Where's everybody from? Atlanta, Georgia. ATL, awesome. Jacksonville, y'all aren't Jaguars fans, alright? Oh, man. You guys are He was scared. He was scared to tell us where he's from. <laughs> he said, "He said I'm from LA, but I'm not crib." Then he, then he was just there. <laughs> Looking at his friend. And a big thumbs up. One, two, three. You want the picture? No. I don't give a fuck about this picture. Mm, Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> no paparazzi. Six, Sixty bucks. <laughs> I just say 50 bucks. I just say 50 bucks. You get it? I'm, I'm getting in there. I'm taking a picture. One, two, three. And a big thumbs up. You get it? I just say 50 bucks. No. How many we got? You coming. Come on. Are we taking a picture? Five, six. All right. All y'all are on that line, please. Thank you. All righty. This, she said y'all too. Y'all too. She said she say family photo, nobody's excluded. Head up. <laughs> Head up. Shut up. I'm, where's Logan? <laughs> <laughs> this feels like reinforced rock. I would hope it like a real rock. I would hope it was like <laughs> Niggas say are you're gonna be reinforced block. Reinforced chop cheese. Say say would you like to feel the inside of a game? <laughs> Water is wet. 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 Water is w
<laughs> hey, nah, it's actual running water, though. It's crazy. <laughs> Nigga, welcome to Dump Street. Yes, it is. It's two of them. What the hell? <laughs> it's a presentation, y'all. What, what color is that? Say no. Elephant's foot. Oh, it's slick down here. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's getting tighter. You see everybody squatting. People are coming through the other group. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's crazy. These are real cave. I'm going. I'm going through the mountain split. <laughs> Squeeze a ruby. So we got we got we got some stalagmites and stalactites. I forgot which one is the one. Is it the top one or the is it the one at the top or the one at the bottom? <laughs> say say we gotta read the information again, y'all. I think stalagmites is the one up there though. Well, look at that big ass <laughs> Look at that rock right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's almost like it's made out of wax. It's crazy. Oh no, it'll stop growing. It's just crazy how it looks though. Say stalagmite column, stalactite. <laughs> Are you grab one thing in this whole fucking enclosure <laughs> for? I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm sorry. Ruby. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruby. <laughs> Say totem pole stalagmite. Okay, so yeah, stalactites are the ones that come from the ceiling, and stalagmites are the ones on the ground, y'all. Yeah. Shit! Then you say touchies, ugly. Whoa. Almost went, almost went the wrong way. <laughs> Nah, bro, walking through the cave is crazy work, y'all. Why is it so damn slick on the ground? Bro, this shit like fucking wax or something. <laughs> it's not real stalagmite, it's wax. It's stalactite, it's fucking here. <laughs> Say, bro, there's little holes in the cave and some oh shit. Damn, Leak, we done lost the rest of the boats. Oh, that's hard. So we got to go through here on the way out. That's Leo's Passage, y'all. Just let those passages. So this there's the one. Shit, fine. I ain't going to lie. Got to make the donkey. Rawr. Oh, they call it the donkey. It's the donkey on the I wonder why, though. The goddamn donkey.
Mmm, it smells like wet rock in here. I ain't gonna lie, wet rock smells so crazy, bro. Wet rock. I ain't none of that with some lights, y'all. We're going through Onyx Jungle. Ruby's Drapery. Oh, that's why it's wet. It's dripping. <laughs> we are in the Onyx Jungle, y'all. Onyx column formation. Oh, when it's stalagmite meets a stalactite. That's crazy. Red is dripping in here, y'all. This is dumb wet. Science. I ain't gonna lie, that used to be the only subject I like for real. Damn, there's actual water in here, twin. They throwing coins in here. Say it's a wishing well, y'all. Say what, Lee? Water. Water. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, everything dripping is crazy. It is mod wet in here, B. Whoa. Almost just cleared my face. <laughs> you will clear the air. This is crazy work. They say we're going through Hall of Duty. All right, y'all. We got to oh, our shit. second out group in this way. We're all just going to pull up to the person in front of us and get on this left side here. My brother Logan. It's Logan from from Boy Boy Crush Band. Stupid. Everybody make way. Can I donate some core to the middle of the mountain? Can I call you Rose? <laughs> <laughs> It's a cop. Where the turtle at? Right here. Right here. I, I mean, I don't see him though. Up here. Oh, he's up we there. On this side. Okay. Okay, hold on. Now look right here. Uh, yeah. Look right here. I'm trying to catch it. Hold on. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm like, but where the hell is the turtle at? Y'all, I just did a whole 360 on camera. Y'all, y'all don't pay attention to what I got going on right now. <laughs> is it drippy? Is that water? It's dragon Alright, you guys, we're going to turn around here. Alright, I know this sounds like a pain in the butt, but we're going to. Yeah, we're going to see you right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to turn around. We have to break away again. Yeah. Is that a telephone? Ugh, you like They ran out of water, I guess the fall ain't gonna be how old going there. Really? How you turn the fall off? Is it fake? That's what he just said. They is ran it, out of water. Is, is it, it real? fake? Is the fall fake? Is it real? How do you run out of water? Nah, run out of water in the fall is crazy. Ain't that what you pay for? Can I get a refund? <laughs> 
Can, can I get a refund? Is it a Ruby fault? There's no one of them? The beehive. It's just, it's just Ruby. Bro, it's not like wet Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrenos. <laughs> <Wait, man. laughs> like, bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it ain't it ain't the rocks no more. <laughs> something something smell like ass. <laughs> Jubacabra. <laughs> I thought he just failed, bro. The angel's wing drape formation. Bro, they smell like straight sweat. The angel's wing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see him. Nah, the angel's wing is up there. That's hard. Fuego. Same. Mmm. It, it smells like, uh, what you call this house, mama? Granny. It smells like, smell like granny crib. <laughs> Ooh, it smells like my grandma's house in here. You said don't touch? <laughs> boy, it's slick as hell, boy. Long day to wear oversized pants. It's a potato chip. These folks, these folks throwing coins in the water, but it's ain't no wishing well, man. Anything to make a broke nigga think he can get some bread. Say, say y'all niggas will do anything but invest in yourself or go, or go. <laughs> niggas will throw a hundred coins in a wishing well, but won't get a job application. <laughs> bro's, praying for, bro's praying for a million dollars with a quarter in the water. Your ass is a fucking idiot. Am I cooked? <laughs> The cave? Yeah, cave. Do I have service? <laughs> <laughs> that boy Leek said, Do I have service in here? No, you got satellite. <laughs> what? 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 SOS? <laughs> Nigga say, No service. If your ass dies in here, you just die. <laughs> you are fried. <laughs> My phone's not bright enough. <laughs> Chasing that whole nigga. You said chill, mama. I'm sorry. You know, he, he act like he ain't got no whole training. But we I mean, I, it's all it's all three out of this one. I don't want to get caught. I more participants. <laughs> 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 Time to go, bro. Say I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My camera died, but we still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth a hundred thousand. We're back at the stalag, my stalag.
Y'all yeah, say bye. Deuce. After a long 24-hour drive, damn near 48-hour drive, y'all. We is back in ATL, man. We just dropped my Duke so We got to drop off corn. Drop off a little leak. And then I'm out to the crib, y'all. I'm probably stop by my P.O. box before I end the vlog because I got a whole bunch of stuff there. They say it's like five bags waiting on me. I guess we'll see when we get there. But, yeah, man. It's been a crazy trip. I hope y'all enjoyed the whole road trip situation. I hope y'all enjoyed the last vlog with Aspen. This vlog with Tennessee, the Seattle shit. I hope y'all enjoyed all the stops we made in all the different places we went, man. One thing for me is this was a first, but it won't be a last. I was really just getting a feel for the road and shit. What I can tell y'all is, bro, like, I don't know, bro. As I experience life and shit, I realize that experiences is always better than material. Like, I done bought my mama bracelets, all types of stuff, but it be the road trips and the memories we make together to stick with her and stick with everybody in this car until the day we leave this earth, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I could buy a Luka necklace and that shit be, it's just as temporary as I give it to him, and then as soon as I give it to him, it's not worth anything after that. It is, but it just, like, it don't hit the same after you give a the necklace. Like, you can look back on memories every time, and they still hit the exact same. You know what I'm saying? Like, i never forget my first time smoking with my mama. First time smoking with Lil' Leap. Goddamn, when I first met Quan and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Them chains and shit, it'll be good day then. By tomorrow, it loses value. So, I tell y'all folks, invest in memories. Invest in shit. Just invest in... I don't know, experiences. Don't invest in some material shit. And shit, realize that material shit is only half what the world has to offer to you. I appreciate you, mom. Mm -hmm. But, guess I'll catch up with y'all folks at the next stop, man. They're like that. We is at stop number two. Yup. 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 Alright, All right, Slime. It's like, yeah, man. Dropped off, got down. The second geyser. Last, but not least, man. We got. Lil' Leap, and then shit, I'm out to the crib with Baby Ghost. With Baby, bruh, stop, bruh. With Baby, excited. And last but not least, I'm out to the crib with <laughs> Baby Roast. Thug Lie. Rawr, rawr. Baby Roast. Baby Roast. You say, and after a long 48 hours to Colorado and another 48 hours back to Atlanta, we are dropping off the last brother. The last individual on the ride. Hello, niggas, man. Stupid ass. Baby Ropes. Tesla Rosta. So we gotta we gotta get all the bags out of the car and then go to my PO, baby ghost, and then the vlog is over, no cap. <laughs> Say then the vlog is done. The vlog is finished, bro. It's finished, bro. <laughs> but like a vato. <laughs> That. My cellular device. She just spanked my fucking toe. <laughs> Say last but not least, we're dropping this nigga off. Time for your departure. Get the fuck on. Get the fuck on, bruh. <laughs> Say after 48 hours there and back, Colorado, goddamn St. Louis. Where else I went? Motherfucking Tennessee and some more shit, y'all. So we went to a lot of different places, Kansas and all type stuff, man. Like I said, a 48 hour drive there, or another 48 drive back. And we is back in Atlanta, man. We done dropped everybody off, time to go to the crib, man. But we gotta thank this man, Chris. This man, Chris, got down, made this shit possible, y'all. I'm gonna put that. Yeah, I'm gonna put the at name for the business somewhere right here. So if y'all need sprinters, y'all trying to go on trips, you got parties, anything of that nature, man, y'all go. Hit my boy Chris, he's gonna get you right. Hey man, and if you tell him look cash percent, you might give you some type of fucking way. I can't make you no promises, but what I can tell y'all folks is man, 13 seat sprinter, TVs, Wi-Fi, Netflix, stars on the roof, lights, and some more stuff, y'all. It's all the way kitted, man. It's it's action-packed with entertainment and some more shit. Damn, there go baby K, y'all. But yeah, man, Sprinter got us there and back flawlessly, y'all. I approve. So y'all folks go check that shit out, man. But I'm gonna get back to y'all when we get to the crib, cause we're gonna settle in. So I see y'all folks in a second. Say, hold up, y'all. BG just pulled up on me. Y'all ain't seen Baby Ghost in the vlog so long. And I ain't talking about my dog, y'all. I'm talking about the real Baby Ghost, y'all. Hold up. Baby Ghost, you got to hold it, bitch. So they see we're going to spread it, bitch. Hold up, y'all. We go we go full full digital tie with the original goddamn cartoons. Y'all, 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 folk be, man, go get your goddamn. I, I be having to tell y'all every time I get my shit, you got to go get your pieces. Now, y'all seen my yellow one. Y'all seen my black one. Y'all were begging me to tell y'all where I got it from. Shit. I'm going to tell y'all one more time because y'all last be missing out on this shit, man. These drops limited. 
Say, tell him, twenty drops limited. So if y'all ass don't get in, no ass, like, sure. telling you, if you don't get in, y'all fuck gonna miss out. Hey man, y'all seen my yellow one? Y'all seen my black one? Now we got the red one, y'all. These shits one on ones, man. I'm telling y'all, limited drops. Y'all ain't gonna see too many people with them, and if you don't get them, you just gonna miss out. It's gonna be over with. You're fried. You're deep fried. <laughs> But yeah, man, go get your digital tire piece at, and I ain't gonna be somewhere right here on the screen. Y'all gonna see me style this bitch sometime soon. Just know, man, baby, go be plugging me every time, y'all on guard. Say, it's bad business, y'all. They say we should have brought the truck today. <laughs> God damn. Bro, we only been gone for a week, y'all. This is nasty work. I don't know who the hell y'all think gonna wear all these clothes. <laughs> Golly, bro. Yeah, Bro, these folks be moving me out with PO packages. That shit is nasty work, bro. <laughs> I did gotta get move out of my grill. So y'all, what the hell y'all done sent me this time? All right, we we finna figure out how we finna stuff this in the car, y'all. So I I come back to y'all once we get done with the problem. So we back in Atlanta, man. First place I had to stop, man. We is over here at goddamn Wing City, man. You feel me on Windy Hill? Shout out to that boy EK. The boy just got me right with the motherfucking Philly Cajun Fry. Got down five ranch piece combo, man. If y'all folks want to eat this shit, come to Wayne City on Wendy Hill, man. If you tell them Lil' Casper sent you, bro, with your purchase of your food, you, you get you a free small occasion for no kill. But yeah, y'all, shit, busters ain't elite. Busters. But yeah, I'm finna eat my food, so I'll catch up with y'all a little bit later, man. Alright. <laughs> Nigga say, alright, little bro. Alright, y'all, so we in Target right now. I'm trying to get my little shit out of my fucking list. I don't know what all I need, but we finna see right now. This shit is short this time, cause you know I be coming this bitch going crazy on a regular motherfucker. I just need me some little basic shit. Boy, little leech spilled red juice on the ones, y'all. That boy say he's coming feats out here. I cannot be seen wearing this shit. Bro, on his, <laughs> on his Fred Flintstone, John. I can't be seen. I already be seen in my socks. Didn't see in them guys. Oh God, didn't them ones. <laughs> it's fucked up in the crib drinking that black girl magic. <laughs> Fuck it. Niggas fucked up in the crib drinking Josh. Niggas fucked up in the crib drinking open skies. <laughs> open skies. Twin. Yes, way rose, nigga. <laughs> Bro, these niggas are running out of juice. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> 19 crimes. Niggas fucked up in the crib drinking 19 crimes. The seven deadly zins. The, <laughs> the seven deadly zins is nasty. I'm gonna drink shit called the Brown Project Gang. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna be shitty as hell. The fucking the brown project with the brown top with the brown bottle, <laughs> bro. Keep it, bro. I wonder if it's brown. Keep keep it, bro. Please keep it. And if it's brown, I'm down. Bro, I'm not drinking that shit, nigga. Why is Chardonnay brown? <laughs> in the gas station. If you fucked up buying this, bro, in in the crib, yeah, you fucked up. This the type of shit my baby mama. Be <laughs> A lot, oh. gang. <laughs> If you eat steak and potatoes out of can, gang, sirloin burger. <laughs> I, I fucking know something about you, bro. Nah, bro. And you don't love your body. Nah, you come spicy. Cause ain't no way, ain't no way they putting steak in the can for two thirty nine. <laughs> boy, that, boy, that's <laughs> right, that's right, gang, 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 gang. That is rat meat, twin. <laughs> Twin and math don't make no sense. Twin, first of all, you can't even get a potato for two dollars. <laughs> but what steak have you ever had <laughs> for less than twenty bucks? <laughs> Niggas say steak a potato in a can for two thirty nine. <laughs> like, hey. like, gang, you could have sold me on a can of potatoes. You could have sold me on a can of steak, but both for two thirty nine. <laughs> this is the shit they making in the lab, gang. <laughs> Bro, look at it. Bro, this shit like something my dog would eat, bro. <laughs> now you know what part of the steak this is, bro. This, 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 the, this cow the ass. Ankles. <laughs> the cow ankles. Nigga said it's the favorite part, the butt meat, <laughs> the tail meat. It's the most. It's <laughs> this is the most tender part of the cow, twin. Nah, the cow tail meat. is crazy. He's eating straight butt meat. Cow tail is crazy. Uh, <laughs> and why they try to make it seem like they got them charred this bitch, twin? Why they put a? Why they put a little a little char line on the fucking steak for it? Bitch, you ain't cook this on no grill, oh, nigga. <laughs> that 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 could never in a million years that make sense, y'all. Disgusting, egregious, devious work, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Twin, you could never tell me how 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 <clears throat> you could never tell me how how steak could be broken down to two thirty nine. <laughs> Twin, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's chunks of steak in every bite. That's what it says. <laughs> I'm <with> these steak bites. <laughs> I'm these twin. 
if you cut a twenty dollar steak into multiple pieces and put it in a can, it's still worth twenty dollars, nigga. Yo, bro. How the fuck did you give me a piece of steak in every bite for the price of two thirty nine? <laughs> it's a little horse, y'all. Oh god, this is this is the little ponies that been going missing oh, and shit. <laughs> Bro, it's unborn cat. Not small, but when Squidward started fucking break dancing and he was half LSD. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, like, what do you got? Say, yeah, bro. my bad, brother. Yeah. But yeah, they say it's when they just caught me outside, y'all. We grocery shopping. He <laughs> bro, said he fucked my campaign. Past there, bro. I was, bro, I was scared, bro. I'm and now I appreciate like, you. He said yeah, he'll be a big supporter. Shit, look, yeah. I support you too, then. Tony, what the hell you doing? Uh, I'll be doing like clothing brand stuff. Like, For real? It's not it's anything like, crazy. It's, it's more yeah. like, like yeah. drop shipping. Like, you all good. Like graphic tees and stuff like that. For sure. <laughs> when you drop it? I'm trying to drop in April, but yeah. I'm like working on the designs. On designs? Right yeah. Take your time. Yeah. A lot of people sure. be rushing. That's what they mess up at. I apologize. Right, can yeah. I get a picture, bro? Hell yeah, of course. I got you. Lee, you take it for real quick? Yeah. <laughs> bro, my hand's shaking and shit, bro. Bro, you is all good, <laughs> brother. I promise you. Hey, you from Atlanta? Nah, I'm from Florida, but I've been, I growing up in Georgia, though. It's hard. Yeah, right? but what like, like Kennesaw and stuff. Uh, I'm I'm like more like Jacksonville area. Jacksonville, yeah. Like I said, you know you're in the picture, right? He said, "My lord, get in." Can I get one more? I don't want to go for it. Say, ooh, yeah. Appreciate it, bro. You all yeah, good, baby. but I promise you. Hey, you like humble, so I didn't even know you're not humble, bro. Hell no, it ain't no reason to get no big head. So you'll lose everything you work for. Appreciate y'all boys. I promise y'all. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna keep supporting for real. I promise y'all. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Who the fuck be conjuring up this childish ass shit, oh, nigga? Shit. A gummy lunchable? <laughs> bro, grow the fuck up, bro. Nah. Can gummy pepperoni pizza. <laughs> the gummy cheese and cracker. Say they got the turkey one and the ham. <laughs> <laughs> they say, are you vegan? <laughs> What's your plan? You got a lighter, Brody? No. <laughs> oh. Press COVID on that fucking cigarette. Put I'm that in. Going, man, what a plan. I'm going to light it. Fuck! Who the fuck yeah. is smoking cigarettes in Target? Target, bro. You dirty. I like how they do it. That shit is just like dirty activity, though, bro. I was like, what the fuck is it doing right now? <laughs> Are you crazy? So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We just cashed out on a bunch of nothing. Ugh, like candles, sandwich meat, ugh, like fragrances, and some bullshit, man. But I'm finna take my ass out of Target, so I will see y'all boys at the whip. End of the dog food, y'all. Going to the top of the hill just to fly down on the cart is nasty work, bro. <laughs> this nigga dumb as hell, y'all. He finna come, he finna come through drown, y'all. Hold up, nah, it's another car behind you. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> that was a fucking dickhead, bruh. <laughs> Slow ass nigga. Tell the vlog what the hell going on. Nah, I'm from Memphis, man. Memphis? Shit. That's hard. Yeah, Twin yeah. said you, I'm not you from Memphis. You yeah, live here? Yeah. Huh? You moved out here? Yeah, I just moved That's out hard. here. I just came from Texas, for real, for real. I was doing the social media shit. That's hard, started man. Doing it. First video I posted went viral, and then um, I'm just trying to get my shit back, bro. That hard, though, Twin. So I appreciate you for supporting me on my mom. Show, fam. Shit. Eat. Be at Twin. Stay out of the way, brother. Show, man. Teamwork made the dream work, so I hold the basket. Twin ain't got nothing putting them holes in. That pocket frog shit. Right, pocket stupid, nigga. Shit, Twin. Yeah, Twin. Twin got the whole bag. 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 We're scaring away the pretty young women. <laughs> ...towards small clothing and brand owners. So now I'm still within my niche when I launch my community. Mm -hmm. I'm still within that niche when I start doing the YouTube content of the free game. When I'm doing the TikTok free game. When I'm doing the lives. I'm still within the same niche because it's all up under the fashion, small brand, clothing cre uh, content creators. That's what I've been doing. So I knew that, okay, if I stay within the fashion... Everything else gonna make sense. So that's just pretty much how I looked at it. Perfect, perfect answer. I love it. What y'all got going on, man? We is back into the video. I'm not gonna lie. 
We is on the way to a photo shoot right now. I'm outside earlier today, y'all. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We finna get in an early photo shoot. They got me booked for about like an hour. And then after that, we got other errands to run and stuff. I need to go get like my nails done and a little shit like that, y'all. I ain't really been keeping up with my, uh, you feel me, like my personal. So, gotta go take care of all that little stuff. Uh, probably hit my P.O. box. We're gonna do a P.O. unboxing and some more stuff, man. Y'all boys, just stay tuned. But, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Today is gonna be a pretty action-packed day. Now, mind y'all, if y'all watching this video, I did not drop uh, my last video when I was supposed to. It was kind of one day late. But the reason why is because uh, YouTube yellow marked one of my videos. If y'all don't know what a yellow mark is, it just means that you can't get paid for the video. So it'd be kind of irritating to release content if I can't make money off of it, y'all. But I really don't always make content for the money. I told y'all I like just entertaining y'all and producing videos and making content in general. So I don't be caring. But yeah. Long story short, my last video got yellow marked, so I didn't drop it uh, until a couple of days ago. And when you get a video yellow marked on YouTube, bro, what niggas don't know is, is once one video gets yellow marked, they keep yellow marking your videos. Uh, so, yeah, bro, I've been kind of like struggling to upload as quick as I usually do and as consistently as I usually do because I've been fucking having to wait for my videos to get yellow marks removed so I can upload them and get paid for them. But... Um, yeah, man, we is at the location where I'm supposed to be meeting these boys at for the photo shoot. I don't know exactly where they at because I don't see them, but I mean, I'm finna call them. So I guess I'll come back to y'all when we get this photo shoot situation situated. So, see y'all in the We just had to go on the Easter egg hunt for my brother, man. This man was goddamn traveling with the big ass bag and a big ass camera all around the damn city. Twin, tell them what's going on though, because this the brand owner, y'all, but my boy is on bed rest, y'all. This nigga working. Tell, you gotta tell him your situation, Twin. Look, man, the nigga was in the hospital. We still making this shit shake, man. Cody Artillery grabbing the biggest collection drop in this month. So, y'all boys, get ready to tap in. Got down, Casper came and show love. So, shit, man, we finna make this shit go crazy. And this is why I be telling y'all folks all the time, bro. It's like no excuse for y'all folks not to be working or not putting in the effort. Because at the end of the day, I feel like if my partner sitting in his bed could tell y'all folks that he could still get his brand promos done and still work out photo shoots from in the bed and coordinate stuff through his partners, I think it's all about what you want to do. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are making excuses for why y'all can't do shit. But... It's always a way to make something happen if you really want that shit to happen. So, to all my clothing brand owners, content creators, whatever the case may be, bro, don't make no excuses for reasons why you can't put in the work, y'all. Get outside and do that shit. Or, just find a way to make it happen. It's always a way to make this shit happen. Work what you got until you get what you need. No cap. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, bro. This vet just blew the fuck out me, bro. I, like, I love my car, y'all, but, like, bro, why the hell my car's that locked with my key in the car? That shit ain't never did no shit like that, y'all. That bitch probably be a smart car. What the fuck? Every other time I try to got down, lock the key in the car, that bitch will unlock itself automatically. Or that bitch will tell me, no, you can't do it because the key's still in the car. This bitch dead ass just locked itself, y'all. I swear to fucking God. This bitch got me stuck on the front of Front Street in Atlantic Station. I mean, I ain't tripping, y'all, because we doing a whole photo shoot. But when the photo shoot over, nigga, I want to go home. What the fuck? Mom, you good? Where you finna go, the house? Be safe, man. All right, mom. How you doing? But that's nasty work, though, y'all. I swear to God, I'm stuck on Front Street. Folks finna be driving past, seeing me and shit, and it ain't nothing I can do. That shit lame as hell. <laughs> Bro, how much do it be costing to break in a fucking car? How much they be charging niggas to get in that shit? I feel like that shit expensive. <laughs> it ain't crazy expensive, but I know it's like, I know it's like a hundred, two hundred, something like that. No, that shit ain't cheap, bruh. That shit just blew the dog shit out of me, bruh.
bald head because I wear fucking caps so damn much. Bruh, I spread to I came out the gate not wearing a haircut as an influencer. I never fucking had it. Not a haircut, but I never had a hat twin. I will always have a line up. I started wearing hats two months ago. Nigga started randomly joining my live and in my comment section talking about something. Take that hat off, nigga. I said, y'all nigga dummy fuck, boy. I ain't want any nigga with that receding ass hairline on that hat. I ain't hiding shit. I got this bitch on because I want it on. <laughs> All right, so we back into it, y'all. Locksmith on the way. I thought that bill was gonna be expensive as fuck. I thought I'd be thinking locksmith's like a hundred, two hundred dollars, cause you breaking in the nigga car. But they say it's only gonna be twenty dollars to pull up, sixty dollars to fix it. So it's an eighty dollar problem, almost a hundred, but it ain't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So hurry up and bring y'all motherfucking ass. Say the locksmith five minutes away. I don't know where we're at, cause they somebody gonna take him twenty minutes to get here. He must be fucking this hole or something. But it say the locksmith shit right here on the corner. Come fix my motherfucking problem, nigga. I need to get in my car so we get these clothes. That shit's so crazy, y'all. They put the clothes that I'm supposed to be wearing in the photo shoot in the passenger seat so, so that my stupid ass can try the outfits on. And I accidentally closed the door, so now the clothes is locked up in that bitch. So we only got one outfit to work with, y'all, but we, we making it happen. That shit gonna go viral. This shit be funny. This is nasty work, bro. Like, I'm dead. I love Brian. So Brian is the motherfucker that sold me the car, y'all. I just got locked out of the car doing a photo shoot and I locked all the fucking clothes in the whip, y'all. Every last piece of goddamn clothes in the whip. I called Brian. I said, Brian, I need to get in this motherfucker, man. Brian said, I got you. This motherfucker just unlocked this bitch from halfway across the world, y'all. This shit is crazy. I need the Chevy app it, ASAP, Brian. That is nasty work, bro. I don't, even, I don't even think you know, bro. Like, I just called the locksmith and some more shit, bro. I was like, this bitch stressed out. I'm doing a photo shoot, twin. So what happened is, bro, look. I step out the car to, to change my fucking clothes, bro. And I, like, throw the hat in the car. And I forgot the keys was in my hand, bro. That bitch said, beep, beep. I said, what? Fried rice, y'all. Fucking phone died. Oh, no, it didn't. But, yeah, bro, that shit, that shit was nasty work, bro. Nah, I got. I wasn't even tripping about getting access to the app now, but now I need that motherfucker. That's a that's a magical ass app. This nigga just unlocked the car. I, I ain't gonna lie, Brian. You probably gonna see yourself on YouTube because I'm gonna go viral. Everybody gonna call me a dumbass. <laughs> hey, look though, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm gonna hit you on like the the, the 29th, the day before. You. because we got to get done with this photo shoot child because that shit just took away from a lot of time why in the fuck <laughs> why in the fuck did i get locked out my car at a photo shoot and then after i get locked out my car at the photo shoot child it's only one person i could call y'all because mind you i'm the owner of the car but i don't have access to the applications and shit because brian ain't he ain't gave me all the info to the apps and shit so i don't have the chevy app on my phone i ain't got none of that shit i didn't know the chevy app could unlock the fucking car Nigga, fuck a Mopar. Hellcat can't do that shit. Boy, you lock your keys in your Hellcat. Boy, you grass, nigga. You might well punch your own window open and tell the insurance that somebody else did it. But anyway, any fucking ways, though, bro. Come on, now. Y'all ain't gonna tell me that ain't some fat shit, bro. This nigga Brian is in a whole nother state. That motherfucker just clicked the button, twin. I thought he was capped, twin. Oh, my mama, he talking about it's unlocked. Twin, I ain't see the car beep. That motherfucker ain't a light come on that bitch or nothing, nigga. You, did you think it was unlocked, Twin? It did not look unlocked, Twin. I, I got her to pull the handle. I'm like, man, fuck, man. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm finna have to call these folks and wait on these niggas, man. That shit dead open, Twin. That is crazy work, y'all. All right, I'm done with my little yap session, y'all. I was just mind blown by the fact that I locked my keys in the car and we got it unlocked in less than an hour from a cell phone. Technology is crazy work, y'all. Shoot, man. Hey, shout out. Keep inspiring, bro. Hey, look, I appreciate you, my brother. Be safe. Hey, that was hard, y'all. But see, y'all, that's why I be telling y'all, like, 
Bro, I remember a point in time when nobody knew who the fuck I was. So for people to drive by and even care to say something to me, bro, that shit is crazy, y'all. I love y'all. I swear I do. I'm doing my yap session, y'all. Twin just said something that like really meant something to me too, bro. Like, it's not even the fact that people know who I am, cause yeah, two months ago nobody knew who the fuck I was or even cared to say nothing to me. It's the fact that for one, people know who I am now and they actually care to take time out of their day to like give me recognition. But it's also the fact that like, bro, the ages of the people, the, the diversity, bro, like it be different skin tones of every color, bro, every ethnicity, bro, boys and girls. It be little kids and grown men. It's crazy to see how far my platform stretches out because at one point in time, I thought only little kids watch me. At one point in time, I thought only little boys watch me. But to think that little boys, little girls, grown men and women all across the world is watching my content and supporting me, bro. I swear to God, bro, like I said, that shit is crazy. I love y'all folks. Hey, listen. I appreciate you turning on my mom. You're a real nigga. I appreciate the recognition, gang. Oh God. Hey, look, I appreciate you, dog. Fight verse. I don't know, twin. Wherever they take me. <laughs> hey, y'all. I do leak. I'm gonna start telling niggas I rob banks. <laughs> what do you do? Just steal shit, rob banks, shit like that. Nothing major. You ever heard of that nigga called K Shorty? That mean. <laughs> Bruh. Now you just start telling niggas. Bruh. You ever heard of that nigga K Shorty? That, that mean ugly. Bruh, y'all nigga don't hurry the fuck up, man. It's like, get the hell on. So everybody named Mama coming on the, on the street. They uh, ain't trying to get my little car smacked up. These folks don't be caring about nobody but themselves. Hurry up, Buick. But yeah. Me and Lee probably finna go to Old Faith for y'all. Old Reliable is the only thing that makes sense today. I don't wanna eat shit else for real, for real. I'll tell a nigga I'm Trey Young cousin. Telling nigga you try your own cousin. <laughs> hey man, you know I'm related to God. Yeah, I'm, I'm related. I'm related to Steph and shit, man. You know. She my uncle got locked up for that freako, but for that freak, for that freako is crazy. My uncle just got locked up for the freako. But P did, P did, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That nigga ass is fried, y'all. That nigga ass tried to escape away to a getaway island. Nigga selling his shares and shit. Nigga selling all of his companies. Oh my God, did he fuck? <laughs> Diddy, you're fried. <laughs> hey, look, y'all, and y'all be swearing that niggas like that is a part of Illuminati. So why is he going to jail for playing with butt? Nah, he can't be an Illuminati. <laughs> He's a part of the the Illuminati, <laughs> the butt Illuminati. Bro, cause bro, what the hell? Bro? That nigga fled to Cape Verde. What the fuck? I just is think that should be on, funny, man. bro. Cause like little niggas, dad, I'd be talking about. Niggas in the music industry are a part of the Illuminati, bro. That is the biggest racist party in the world. I promise you to God, there is no black person a part of that shit. And if there is, if there is... The only nigga a part of that shit is Jay-Z. No, God. And if there is, there's a problem, gang, because he ain't supposed to be there. That might be the only nigga in the Illuminati. The only nigga in the Illuminati? Jay-Z, that might be the only nigga, bro, gang. Bro, fuck all that, bro. Like, gang, Diddy's going to jail for playing with old bussy. Like, bro, What? 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 Human trafficking, but majority male. What? That nigga's human trafficking, but this. Diddy! <laughs> what? <laughs> nigga's a fucking villain. Human trafficking, but is crazy word. That boy said, I am the ultimate butt villain. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That's not, that is nasty work, though, cuz. Cuz you're a rabbit. Who, that, who are they drawing? Who the fuck they put me? Uh, Who the hell is that? Is that Jay Z? Is that is that J Cole with no hair? That look like Kanye. <laughs> oh God! Who the fuck was that? Why we ain't ever went to the restaurant inside here? What is the restaurant in here? Uh, you know the hotel restaurants always be Fado. I said that in the Colorado vlog. But but I but, only see white people in that window. Oh God! I was gonna say. I said that I said that any restaurant in a hotel is usually fine, but then again, y'all, I told y'all don't take my word for it because if y'all go to a hotel and the food is ass, I don't want y'all blaming me. Usually though. Bro, you know, like, are y'all fucking dumb nigga drive up the hill, nigga? What the fuck are y'all niggas doing? You gotta correct yourself, Twin. Restaurants in high end uh hotels are It's just me and Lil Twin, hot down, Twin. No, 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 she's beat, she's beat, she's beat. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Right. 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 If my BM watches this, I was just playing. Oh god, bro. All jokes, just joking. I just joshing, bro. I, I was just playing. He wasn't we I, <laughs> he wasn't gonna hot down for real, bro. <laughs> Hi, right, child. 
We finna pull up at uh, Yeo Reliable, man. We just left the P.O. box, but I had to go get me some grubby wubbies. Ugly. I'm not gonna lie, it looked dead today. I'm hoping for the best. We're usually on rainy days, it's usually like not piped in that bit, and that, that, that's what we hoping for. I hate coming here where it be 50 million people in here. But, guess I'll get back to y'all boys when we get on the inside side. So see y'all in a second. All right, so we was back into the video, man. As y'all can see, we was sitting down. I just got done ordering my food, y'all. It's so crazy, though, bro. This is the first time we ever came in Cafe on the Mezzo and they gave us uh, bad service. Usually, it don't be bad service. Usually, they sit us down, we eat, get out there bit, in and out pretty quick. Boy, today, boy, I was sitting down for 25 minutes, boy. Nigga ain't even come bring me a water or nothing, boy. I got to complain, boy. So we got us some free dessert. Ugh, glad. But yeah, man, I just ordered my food. I said I'm going to switch it up today. Every time I come in here, I order, like, the tortellini pasta with a grilled chicken and something like that. Today, we're going to try a fucking burger, y'all. I added bacon to it. And yeah, man, we're going to see what they have the burger talking about. So I guess I see how my burger get here. But yeah, if y'all ever go to a food place, and they taking too long or they playing with your time or the food is nasty don't be scared to complain bro get your money's worth or get your money back fuck you talking about i ain't going for nothing strange y'all niggas ain't finna play with my bread i work too hard for this shit fuck me my burger like a fucking crabby patty y'all bro why they playing this fucking sad music in the background like for the dog commercials when you when it's please help a dog for a dollar a day you can save a dog inside of your local pound a dollar a day you can feed this starving average like bro, what is this? What is this fucking background music? But yeah, bro, I go burger, bacon, home style potatoes. I ain't even asked for those. I guess they come with the burger since they don't have fries. What type of French ass shit? And then you know I got my hot chocolate B. Yeah, G. Yeah, I finished eating my food. Not gonna lie, burger. I'm gonna give it a solid. Um, yeah, we a I mean, I mean, I want to say like a 7.5, y'all. The burger was not bad, but it wasn't amazing. So I don't know how to take that. I mean. Man, I got my little complimentary piece of piece of cheesecake. Y'all will see when we get to the house, man. But I guess I'll catch back up with y'all in a little second, man. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we back into the vlog, man. We just pulled up on Sneak. If y'all don't know, I ain't been wearing Jordans in a long time. But since I have started back wearing them, it seems like the fours is my favorite pair, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all favorite pair of Jordans. I ain't gonna lie, though. I told y'all. been fucking with the fours lately, y'all. So I came to pick up the yellow fours. Need to get the black and yellow ones, but I don't know if I'm gonna find the thunders. Then we got these Olive Jones. Yeah, man. So we finna got down a piece to get a little outfit real quick. I'm gonna show y'all what I already got on. So we got Hell Rays on the jeans, Oreo Fours on the feet. I got Desert of Ties on the t shirt, black chrome hat. But we finna piece something else together, man. It's a whole bunch of shit in here, though, y'all. Y'all know how it be when you pull up on seat shit. Never know what you're gonna find. These is hard. I know she ain't got these in my size, though. I think this is Veil. What is the name of this brand? I think that's the name of this brand, y'all. Veil. I don't want to be wrong. Yeah, it's Veil. Shout out to Veil, man. If you ever watch one of my vlogs, man. Y'all folks tag Veil and reach out to Veil. Tell them to send me some of these sweats. Because these bitches is trim. So, I ain't gonna lie though. We got some Saint Vanity in here. Shout out that boy Saint, man. I don't even wear nothing but chrome hats for real and chrome jeans. But chrome heart definitely got some pieces. The hell is this? Got every fucking flavor of ASIC in this motherfucker. That shit is gallery. Shit. Fuck with these green ones. These bitches actually kind of clean, y'all. Oops, I did not mean to hit the camera with them hoes. Like I said, I just recently got my first little two pairs of Ricky's, y'all. So when you got these veils in a fucking small. The veil sweatpants. Yeah. The yellow and whatever this colorway is right here. Yeah. That should be a small right there. It is small. Mm -hmm. Let me look. What the fuck do you say? I can't even see it. I'm trying to check it, y'all. Which one is this? Oh, it is small. I right, bet y'all. Say, hey, man. I don't lie, y'all. We ain't sneaks over here, guys. <laughs> We over here got down having a, a crazy little goddamn combative argument because this clothing shit ain't no oh y'all. Okay. She just put out DOP for though. you. Nah, see that ain't that ain't fucking with the <laughs> He said I don't go with the outfit, I, I man. Promise, I promise. Well, it's not going home. Hey, it's not going home. He's not He gonna he gonna figure he like me. I'ma say it's I figure that shit the fuck out. Not even if I can't like Ah, now I see what you're trying to do. See, like, that's hard though. You just want something that's got them opened. Yeah, like yeah. yeah you know, so. Okay. 
Call. All right, y'all. So we got two pairs of shoes. We got the shoes on my motherfucking feet. Hold up, y'all. We got the yellow belt on. Okay, cool. Pedazzle motherfucker. We go billionaire on the t-shirt. Yellow hat. The hat is by Denim Tears. I, I think it's a fit. Uh, glad. We'll see what Instagram say. Shout out to Goddamn Sneak, though, man. She helped me put this shit together every time, y'all. And then uh, we got a little Jagger with the Sparks Stones. Y'all see a letter, man. But I'm finna go do this little photo, get this shit over with. So I guess y'all uh, see me in a second, man. To the vlog, y'all. Not gonna lie, we finna do like a small little miniature PO unboxing. It's not really a PO unboxing because I got like 50,000 packages to open. This is just the ones that we gotta do like promos and take pictures for and stuff. So I'm trying to go ahead and open them. And yeah, man. So if y'all wondering why your package ain't get open, it's gonna get open soon. This is this is just a couple. I ain't gonna lie. When I say it is literally, it, it it's literally jet. When I say bro, it's literally just a couple, bro. Like, I got a monsoon of packages in here, y'all. So, anyways, so let's get straight into this. First package is from. Because these are all the people that I already know. Um, I don't know why my little pot name put a brand name on here, but we're going to go ahead and read the note. So, the note says, here's the first piece I'm dropping from my rebrand. I had you in mind when I made it. You're an inspiration to all the young entrepreneurs, twin. By the time you get this, I've already sent you the money for a shoot. Uh, motion talk worldwide. Soon to be in top tier gallery. It's hard though. Say, make sure I say the brand one more time for y'all. Motion talk worldwide, man. Y'all see it though. So we got a heart. This the back of the t-shirt, y'all. What does it say on the back? Let me see. It say the world is, oh, the world is ours. That's hard. Okay. And then on the front, y'all, you feel me? We got top tier because it's top tier gallery. That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. And y'all know I'm a, I'm a big Scarface fan. If y'all don't know, I mean, shit, now you know. I got it tatted on me. I got paintings all in my crib and stuff. So yeah, man, shout out to little bro. This is hard. So I'm not gonna lie to you. NGL, bro. That's hard. All right. Next, we got something straight business. Uh, I did a promo for him before. He got like some hard little dicky style suits, y'all. He said he sent me a brown one. Let's see what it's talking about. So I already had the black one. Now we got the brown one, y'all. Okay, boom. Shout out to straight business, man. Y'all folks see it. Look, it's backwards to y'all, but you, you, you get the point, though. Straight business, man. Y'all folks go support my brother, man. Put his at name somewhere on the screen. Now, right here, y'all, we got the Dicky style pants. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like these, are the only pants I know that come already like pre-tailored and fitted. Cause if y'all know Dicky pants be baggy, these motherfuckers is like cuffed at the bottom already. And then we got the Dicky style T-shirt right here. I don't know if y'all remember the black one I wore. Uh, I ain't wearing the picture I wore it on my story. But yeah, it'd be hard though, y'all. Now we got the brown. Oh, murder on the back. Shout out to Straight Business, man. Sheesh. Let's see what else we got, y'all. Uh, all right, so right here we got Hidden Blessings. Shout out to Hidden Blessings. I actually got to do a feed post for these boys, man. They sent me a sweatsuit. They told me to let them know how it fits, so I guess I have to put this on. Um, I ain't going to put it on right now, y'all, but yeah, I'm going to put it on soon, though. Boom. So we got the hoodie from Hidden Blessings, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Little play, a little hoodie. Purple and blue. I really was messing with that campaign just because I like the colorway of the hoodie. The colorway of the hoodie kind of play. You feel me? It's a simple little hoodie. Okay. The back is where it get photo, y'all. So it's just hidden blessings on the front. But then when you get to the back, y'all see what's going on. The back of this motherfucker got a whole little, whole little trim design on it, y'all. <coughs> My bad, y'all. I don't know what the fuck just made me cough. Okay, boom. Next package, man. What we got? We got some from uh, Mr. Double R, y'all. See what my boy sent me. 
okay. Yeah. Okay, so Instagram Reckless Rockstar brand, man, from Mr. Double R. Y'all see it, Reckless Rockstar brand. Reckless Rockstar to the end is what it say on the cards, y'all. His Instagram is Reckless Rockstar brand. Let's see what's going. That boy sent me multiple pieces. I ain't even peep. The hell? Okay. So we got one oversized t-shirt. This is hard. Oh, hard. It's, it's some calm little simple shit, twin. Say reckless on the front, and then it say, what did it say? Rockstar don't give a fuck on the back. Okay. Then right here, y'all, let's see. Okay, what is this? Like a suit? Oh, not it's that long sleeve t-shirt. He sent me a picture of this. Oh, God. I remember this. So that boy sent me the gray long sleeve on with the green sleeves on it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Say like, this is my favorite piece out of everything you sent me, Twin. Shout out to Reckless Rockstar, though, y'all. If y'all like any of the pieces y'all see, y'all know where to go get them at name on the screen. Let's see what we got right here, man. Okay, so them. Boom. Oh, I'm trying to get in them. Get one on the one. Oh. This one is from Eternus Happiness. Let's see. Oh, we got multiple pieces. Okay. Ain't no Notre Dame. Nope. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. So it look like we got we got a Jesus T, y'all. Boom. So we got the Eternus Jesus T. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. See it. I like the quality of it. Like, I like the material you make. Shirt out of. It ain't no BS material. Say okay. And then we got another one. It look like a white version, y'all. It is. Okay. Then boom. So we got the white version right here. Y'all yeah, see what's going on, man. I don't know which one I like better. They both hard, but I, I think I like I think I like the white one better. And then last but not least, y'all, we got one of a kind mines LLC. This one here, but it's open. Damn. Cool. So you got one of a kind minds on Instagram, y'all. Look, QR code. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to scan that, but um, yeah. Why well, I don't wanna get it? Ain't trying to fuck with y'all. They trying to scam a face. Stop trying to scam a face. Scan the scan the bag. Anyway, though, y'all. So we got a beanie, man. Oh, he got cars. Follow that. Where the hell the cars should come from? Scan to become a member. There we go. Make that a little bit easier for y'all, boy. Y'all scan that right there. They say one of a kind minds LLC on Instagram, y'all. No cap, man. So boom. You got your beanie. One of a kind on it. What we got right here. We got got some sweats, man. What the sweat say? Say one of a kind minds. Okay, you got one of a kind minds on the sweatpants. We got like a little acid wash type vibe going on. Blue Jones, and yeah, man. Say that is it for our little quick uh, PO unboxing. This ain't an official one, so y'all folks do not get mad at me in my comment section. I probably will end up doing the rest of it inside the video somewhere. But with that being said, let's get back into the vlog, man. Okay, pop your shit, nigga. What you finna do? Buddy, you got pants on on that motherfucker? What the hell? Brass butt naked under the Cheeto bag. <laughs> butt naked under the Cheeto bag, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Twin, you starting to hump the flow, Twin. Where the momentum going? You They want that light skin shit. He just got the stroke in the hell out the flow. <laughs> Twin, why you got the stroke? Oh, you wanna see that, Twin? Yo, worm, fuck. No, I don't wanna see that, nigga. Oh. Hell no. Nah. Hit a backflip or something, Twin, in the Cheeto bag. Do it. You say what? Do it? Yeah, hit a backflip. If he busts his shit, I'm gonna be so sad. I can't do that shit. Not in this motherfucker. I'm gonna rip this motherfucker. Do a front flip, shit. I can't do that in this motherfucker. It's no real. Do, do a barrel roll, nigga. Do a cartwheel. Uh. Alright, I got you, I got you. But in it, but goddamn, Twin, where the hell you at, man? This shit, this shit like you on a Blackberry. That oh, nigga, shit. That nigga in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Are we back into the vlog, man? How the hell? How the hell? This the second time I done got here. Any nigga drip ain't here. Where the fuck is it pitch black dark in this bitch? What the hell, Drip? That's why you can't be cool with your barber, man. When you friends with your barber and shit, man, they don't treat you like a client. 
they get treating you like friends and shit. They get comfortable and shit, man. You don't do your other clients like this, nigga. I'm glad you don't. Fuck that. What the hell is the conversation going on in the front of the barbershop? Nigga just talking about, I ain't never love fucked the girl. What? What the hell are you talking about, nigga? Love fuck? What is that? What in the <laughs> hell? The fucking denim tears. Man, what in the fuck is that, bro? Nigga put denim tears on anything. <laughs> oh, shit. He just came in here cutting on all types of light and shit, y'all. We just sitting here in pitch black. Did you I didn't know you was here. The switch is back there. <laughs> fuck that. Why? In the dark and shit. Why in the hell? The second time I done got done beat you to your barber chair, nigga. You ain't nah, see me. Last time, nah, you ain't nah, see look, me walking in eating a slice time, of pizza. Look, look, look cast for a book an appointment, bro. He'll say I'm gonna be here at six o'clock. He gonna come next week at six o'clock. But has it been next week? The last couple times. All right, look, you got me, Cass. Okay then. You're right, bro. You're Penmanship. Right. That's one of the right. things I told people in my blogs I'm trying to work right. on because I suck at being on time and shit. I got a photo shoot at six thirty. I'm finna be late. What time is it right now? It's six o'clock. <laughs> look, you just get touched up, right? Yeah. All right, I got you. I ain't gonna lie though. I need to cut this shit down, twin. This shit is too tall, bro. Like my hats don't even sit on top of my hair right no more. I don't like that shit. It don't got it got too much bulk to it. Uh, that shit need to be like a. I need just like a little, a little bit knocked off, twin. Look just a little bit. Like I ain't trying to go like for the shoe. Yeah, I need a little bit knocked off. Twin. All right, man. Look, look. Just a little bit, look, bro. Yeah, it's your world, bro. We just living in it, man. Shit, man. Worst come to worst, y'all. If you watching this photo shoot, up. Uh, not this photo shoot. If you watching this video, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to fuck around and uh, refund y'all last like $50 or something. Due to uh, stipulations. Uh, that nigga not refunding $50. Why you capping on my name, bro? I done refunded $50 to them girls when I had them waiting outside. <laughs> That's different. Those are girls. You're not refunding no fucking no names. men. <laughs> <laughs> no men. Stand on that Benny, nigga. You better ask for that fifty. <laughs> you don't want your fifty, nigga. Nah, let me stop playing. I, I fuck with everybody, but I just mean like shit. I know time is money, so I do be trying to send y'all money back if I be late to the shoots and shit. Then all right, look, we we be gonna freshen up the lining, just trim some off the top. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Okay, cool. I'm with whatever plan you with. You the barber, man. I'm just, what they say, you talking about this my world, nigga. No, nigga, this your world right now, because I'm sitting in your chair, nigga. God, God forbid, Drip ain't never fucked me up, but you feel me? Moment I think it's my world, y'all, he be done cut my shit and sent me back to Hong Kong. Man, I can't do that to you, man. They say, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, we got to do the damn uh, life of a barber. I still ain't did that shit, y'all. Oh, we, yeah, we got it, bro. Fuck waiting. They been spamming my DM ever since we mentioned it to when they talking about, so can, are you cutting still? Are you still Damn. doing it? Are you going to cut? Oh. Can can I, I be the playing, nigga. twin? Nigga, it got to the point where nigga said, "Fuck it, do more than one person," and I'm like, "So look, y'all gotta volunteer though. Y'all gotta volunteer." They have gotta... twin, it, twin. My DM is beat with young niggas talking about something. It's up. Line up. It's up. It's up. So it's just like twin. We just gotta put it together. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's to, it's like, should we do one person twin or should we do multiple? Like get like five people a chance twin. Yeah, get like get like. Like what you mean, like for them to cut or to oh, get their hair cut? Get their hair cut. Like three, four, five? Yeah. Yeah. Like three or five, right. three five, yeah. Hey y'all. I promise y'all the guy drip not gonna let me fuck y'all shit up. I mean, like, look, I'm I mean, I'ma troll y'all. Y'all know I'm an asshole, but I might make you think I cut your shit the fuck off, but I ain't gonna fuck you up, bro. Nah, I'd be like two people for real. Two? Yeah. I'ma do like three. Three? Okay. Three niggas, bro. Hey y'all. We, I know I told y'all to do it once, but do it one more time, bro. If y'all want to be a part of this experience and y'all want to be a part of the Casper's Day in the Life of a Barber, y'all folks drop in the comment section and be like me. You got to be in Atlanta, though. And yeah, bro, uh, I'm cutting three of y'all here, bro, three of my subscribers. You got to be subscribed. You got to have a notification bell on. You got to send me a screenshot to my Instagram. Okay. But yeah, man. All of the above. All of the above, man. But we finna get into this haircut, y'all. I guess I'll come at y'all with a final product. I'm looking, I'm not looking terrible, y'all. Cause my haircut wasn't like, it wasn't chopped, but you feel me? Like, I'm finna revamp this shit, y'all. Let's see. How the hell drip light over here got them banned like a goat? <laughs> it stopped. Y'all heard that shit, though. I wasn't tripping. That motherfucker said, ah! <laughs> Say, we, we getting this shit yapped and chopped, though, man. I can't wait to get my new camera, y'all. Oh my god, I'm finna shit on the game. Worst part is when your barber just walk off mid cut, y'all. This nigga just left me looking crazy, boy. What? Boy, is this moose on my mid? 
But what, but what the hell, but it like I'm getting my shit bleached or something, y'all. I don't know what drip over here conjuring up, y'all. But this nigga Lee over here just got that one. He just sidebar. I don't know, man. We got a photo shoot, though, y'all. I'm supposed to be late because it'll probably be at 6 30, but they pushed it back to 7. Hallelujah. They're glad. But yeah, man, I'm waiting on the man to come back in here so he could got them. You know, oh, this shit done dried up on my shit. Hey, drip. Why you don't let this shit dry up on my head, nigga, man? This moose ain't probably be doing that, man. Yeah, this shit stiff as fuck, yeah. put that hot rag on your shit. Oh, yeah, he do be putting that hot rag on this shit. that hot towel on your shit. I don't know what all this little cute ass shit is, y'all, but I guess we'll see what the final result look like. I'll come back to y'all in a second. Y'all ignore my lips. I got lip balm in the car. It's hard out here for a pimp, man. Um, I ain't never had this shit got down. This new shit. What the hell, boy? What, what, what the hell this dude drip? Man, so what we doing here right now, man, we give you a, a red carpet service, hot towel massage. For what sure it's going to do, man, it's going to stimulate the uh, follicles on your head. Make For sure real? your hair grow back uh, healthy, strong, all of the above, bro. So That's crazy. I ain't never heard this shit before. I ain't going to lie, though. This shit do feel fine. It feel weird. But but it ain't it ain't bad. I don't even know how to describe this shit, y'all. Nigga say, nigga say, I feel like I'm getting some light skin, nigga treatment, ugly. <laughs> nigga say, nigga say, the, the moose on my forehead was that, I was like, boy, what the hell? This nigga drip just let me in here with some white shit on my face, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say, boy, I need me some lip balm, y'all. Finna got them, um, go get my, my Vaseline off of one, got this, y'all. Ain't gonna lie, though, y'all. The other barber ain't gonna do nothing. We got them um, playing your head and cut your ass up with razors and send your ass home for 20 bucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Send your ass home. It's like, a, it's like a hairline detox. That's what we're gonna call it. Oh, nah. See, that? that's a better way to describe it for the motherfuckers that's got down, got little pea brain and shit, because on God's one. I knew what you meant, but I was like, bro, they not gonna know what stimulate no fucking hair follicles <laughs> is. They gonna be like, what? Stimulate this shit lower and I'm back in the game man. Shout out to Drill. Y'all see him in the background man. That boy locked in on his phone, y'all. But yeah. Drill the bar, man. man. You gotta got down go go check in. So we finna head out though, go to this photo shooting shit, child. And I got some pictures I gotta take, man. But you know this boy Drip is always appreciated. Yeah. Only person I let touch my head, y'all. Yeah. Until next time, twin. Tell you, boy, these folk got me an old 44 skate park, y'all. Y'all ain't seen me at this bitch in like one of my very first vlogs, I think. The boys outside, they do. I don't lie to y'all, though, boy. Sick, man. I'm finna get in and get out, y'all. I'm fucking hungry as hell. I'm trying to get me something to eat. No cap, no kids. Nah, I want shit hard. That boy got a big boy bike.
want to embarrass you on the vlog. I just want, I just want to ask you how the hell that bitch happened. Yeah, I don't even know, man. <laughs> you know my base and all that. Hey, look, hell nah, you ain't fucked the base up. I'm just glad you ain't got no bush your little shit, twin. Nah, I'm straight. That nigga whole front wheel just came out the back, yo. <laughs> Fuck that. That motherfucker was all the way down the block. Twin just had to chase the wheel down. The wheel left his ass. Oh, <laughs> that crazy work, Twin. Yeah, hey, look, though. So, yo, so you don't ever have it all the way bolted on? Okay, nah. Yeah, Why, though? What do you be doing? <laughs> you be doing tricks on that motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah? You can pop a wheelie. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, Twin. He be practicing wheeling and shit. Uh, do a wheelie then, Twin, when you get it on. Uh, I, got I ain't gonna rush you. I know you got them hurting shit. Your ass did. You got them kind of kind of bush your knees and shit up, y'all. <laughs> Twin that just took that chip and dip. Little, bleed. little chip and dip. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you've been learning how to wheel it, twin, you've been busting your shit a couple times. Don't fire. Damn, I'm trying to put them off. Oh, I know yeah, your ass ain't fuck yeah. up your, what you call it, your alignment, shawty. What? What you talking about? I know you ain't fuck up your little alignment on the wheel, nigga. Oh. Oh, none of Yeah, yeah. She need my bite. <laughs> who <laughs> bite this shit? <laughs> who <laughs> bite you got, twin? Shh. Twin said, I don't even know who bite this shit. <laughs> Who bite you bro, what? I thought I'd bring back tomorrow. He said I'd bring back tomorrow. No, for real though. Oh, you know who I don't want to help y'all ass. Shot your ass over there. Oh, God, struggling like a mother. Damn. Come on, damn. So, let's work together. Teamwork make dream work, man. Come on. Get the, get the wheel on this bitch, hoes. I ain't had no fun. Niggas, I'm supposed to be doing a photo shoot, man. And he got me helping put a bike together, y'all. Now, my, now, mind y'all, I want y'all to know I do not know this nigga. <laughs> They probably looking at the camera like they probably. I do not know this nigga, y'all. That was you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. I'll tap in with that too. For sure, gang. Damn, twin, you might really got down. Fuck this bitch. Oh no. I know you ain't fucked these four bikes up. All right, no. there you go. Okay, there that go. one. Get the other one on. You ain't even get the other one on, nigga. Oh, I did. No. Damn, freak ass bike, man. Damn, 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 man. I can't even get this motherfucker on there. All right, got them playing. He done broke these four bikes, y'all. <laughs> them fuck gonna get on your ass, twin. Okay. This ain't no mongoose or not. Oh, this a what you call it? It ain't a mount bike. Yeah, you tripping. This one of them ones. Mm -hmm. You got that bitch on this time, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. He back in the game this time. <sighs> Make sure that bitch hiding. This time, for sure, for sure. I'm probably be doing the photos you y'all. I'm talking about nigga dead ass over that bitch. Goddamn, helping little bro put that bike back together. <laughs> I know this nigga like, man, I'm going to pay this nigga for this shit. I'm talking about this one. I'm probably be getting paid my little money and shit. Most I just walked off on the nigga. I pay him uh, $5 for him. Man, I don't get no fuck about no money, Twin. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm then your nigga just put this shit right back together. All right, let's see what the hell you working with, Twin. I got my book bag in the middle of the shit and some more shit, Twin. I just need one wheelie from you, cuz, for help you put your bike back together and you good. Yeah, Say like my vlog, nigga, see if you got talent, nigga. I ain't just help you do this shit for nothing. No, I do barbering. I cut hair. Swear to God. God. That hard. Tell them what your barber shit is. They might go look at your shit and want a haircut, right? So on Instagram, shit, just tap in with me. MOF. Don't touch my goddamn bag. I'm gonna fuck one of y'all ass up. Everybody, right. everybody, everybody, they mama looking at that motherfucker. Uh -huh. just, like just, 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 just keep walking around a bit. God damn. Motherfucker, so damn nosy, bro. Bust the goddamn with a side, get my motherfucking book bag. Look at the spot. say, Nigga say, I don't need you fucking your shit up, boy. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Rock out. All right, let's do it. They rock out. Twin said he finna come back, pop a wheelie real quick, y'all. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Hold up. He brought that bitch out, though, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you slide, Twin. E. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all, that was just too funny, bro. They don't nigga bust the hell out of this little shit. My bad, Twin, you know I be doing side quests and shit. Okay, Tanya. So I just need to catch by real quick. Yeah. Yo. Can I take a picture? Hey, you take a picture with me. Oh, yeah, bro. Shit, you where you know me from? TikTok. I swear to God. I follow this shit, man. This why I love TikTok, y'all. This shit is so diverse. Twin don't look like he watch my content, but he do. Uh, Fuck you talking about? What, what all you be doing, Twin? Shit, I be skating, uh, working. For real? Shit. All right, what's what's the craziest skate move you could do, Twin? Off the top of your brain? Like a tray flip. A tray flip? Yeah, that's about it. Though. Can you grind? Yeah. Yeah. Decent or like that intermediate type shit? I ain't 
like intermediate decent like okay do a little something i ain't gonna hold you though to let get your picture though who you want to take it you want to do a selfie yeah uh Twain, you take the picture for me real quick bet he gonna take it for you he gonna do it on you one Twain. he want it on the phone Twain, th <laughs> Twain, <laughs> Twain, i'm finna get you the pro motherfucker Twain. you finna get you a professional camera photo appreciate you Twain, for real for real what say? Say, yeah. Come on, boy. What the fuck you been on, bro? What you been? It gonna be so crazy. They delete TikTok, though. Nigga said, I'm gonna have to get on every platform and spam y'all ass to really get out there for real. Midnight me, bro. Midnight me, you too, Twin. I promise you. Look, Twin, I always want to ask a nigga this. Twin, what makes you like smoke cigarettes, Twin? Is it, what feeling do it give you? None? I mean... Did it give you a feeling at first and now why you smoke them now? I started smoking cigs uh, to get a smoke break at work. Okay. So it was just a way for you to get down and get away? Like, on some, like I'm, I'm going to get my little time to myself real quick. And then it just like became a habit? I mean, I would go to work. Niggas would be like, yo, bro, I'm going to take a smoke break. Niggas and you'd be like, yeah, it's just a way for you to goddamn dip in with their ass. So I'm like, I'm going to start doing that. Hey, what for real? So it's like, that's hard. <laughs> well, that's not hard. No, y'all, don't listen to me. Oh, my God, bro. I just convinced the youth to smoke cigarettes, Twin. I got to edit this. Oh, God, that was terrible. Oh, shit. My bad, y'all. That's not hard. That's not what I meant to say, but I meant I meant to say his reasoning is not a terrible reasoning, bro. It ain't the best reason in the fucking world, but I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's how it started, but it's like, yeah, I like it, bro. I just fast, bro. Twin, and we just shit. need you to kill one fire ass move in this bitch. Yeah, like it that. could be, it could be your most intermediate, your best. We don't care, Twin. We just need right. cameo. Shit on the camera, shit hey, tell them your act though, Twin, so they know who you are. What's that? At H P P Y underscore V I R T U E underscore. The fact that he don't even know his act name, this nigga don't give a fuck about the internet. Oh my god. It's some bullshit I made in middle school. Hey, look though, say the internet don't mean shit though. Say money is off the internet. Exactly both ways though. Both ways, Twin. Twin, I did bit. What it is? Hey, Sam. Nah, this is 6D twin. 6D? Oh shit, put me down because I don't know shit about the 6D. No count. 6D, candy 6D, Sigma 18 through 35, just gay out. Shit, that boy just gay out. I was just gonna say he's a gay use of sauce. Oh yeah, at, oh, at, shot by Jalen. Oh, he almost baited y'all. He almost forgot to give himself some free promo. Matter Fuck wrong with you, uh, twin. I'm finna, I'm finna show y'all. This Instagram right here, shot by J A E L R E. Yeah. Y'all boy, fuck. Y'all know look, I be holding nuts too. I, I'm, a, I'm a promo guy, but I do the free promo when it's my little niggas, man. Hey, Sean Twain, tell him we're going. Yeah. God damn it. That's selling the brand, man. Y'all see what the hell going on, man. Right, if y'all right. want the hoodie, it's on my right, body. Y'all want to got down, you feel me? We got colors, y'all. Hold on. We got, uh, hold on. Twin. We got Sean the flavor on you, Twain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Everybody having it on, y'all. The other ones out there in the back playing and shit. I don't know what the hell the girls back there doing. Yeah, bro, got it on. They get... They do it. Hey. Yeah, he do it. And I appreciate you again, Twin. What think looks cool? Twin, it's so crazy, bro, because niggas that don't know how to skate just be fascinated yeah. by niggas dropping in the bowl and shit, Twin. Like, I don't even think you understand. Some simple shit to you is some extravagant shit to us, Twin. Y'all for real, Twin. Say, you ain't even got to overdo it. Nigga, I can't even holly, nigga. <laughs> the hell? Okay. 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 Huh. Everybody just dropped in the bowl. Let's do it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Even drop back in. Y'all. Ah, oh, he almost had it. He said you gotta hit it, twin. <laughs> I don't even know what else. I, s I damn near say Jeff Freestyle, yeah, twin, just go with the flow, twin. Where you gonna end your trick at so I can be recorded from there, twin? Alright, shit. Um, I say record like. Yo! I'll be glad this. Oh. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I'll do something like this. Alright. <laughs> you just fall? What the hell going on over here, man? That's the way. That's the way. What the hell, hell y'all doing over here, man? Oh. Okay. Oh, he just grinded a little bit, though, twin. You ever carried it all the way up? Don't be pointing at me like you know me, nigga. Look at that. 
Nigga say, nigga say, you know me? <laughs> hey, no, dead ass though, you know me? Yes, nigga. For real? Duh. That hard. What the hell? That hard. Who don't know hey, you? look, now you can't see yourself. Nigga, who don't know you, nigga? I don't fucking know shit. We, everybody know you, Tom. Let me be for real. Bro, I'm a regular schmegler guy out here, bro. Yeah, Atlanta Warrior. Bro, I'm a, I'm a grain of rice in this Atlanta world. Atlanta Warrior? What are you Bro, what you talking about, bro? I'm just squirrel trying to get a nut. This everybody else world, nigga. No God. Hey, man. That's so big. I ain't gonna lie though, on some real shit, that shit was hard. Do it again! You almost finished it! I got you. This nigga almost just carried out a grind all the way across this shit, y'all. Hold up now. Say so we in old fourth floor skate park. LeBron getting busy. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Come in, Trill and Twin, come on! Yeah! Alright, what you got? Let me see. Let me see. Fuck you almost had that shit. God damn it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got faith in you, twin. I got faith in you, twin. It's just gonna take a little bit of practice. You almost made it that first time. Your ass almost carried across the whole shit, y'all. What your ad name is, twin? My name is Arrington, twin. Arrington, twin? You gotta tell me your ad name. Mr. Mr. Dot Arrington. Yeah. On every platform. That's hard. You got skateboard content? Yeah, I, I post skateboard content sometimes. I'm gonna go look at your I shit. I still do like, I do like clothes and shit, so. That hard. Like what type of clothes you making? I don't make clothes. I make like a few pieces. Oh, like, you make I think pieces. I did this, like Chinese. Yeah. Kind of, like American style. You do like one-on-ones. Yeah. That's hard. You know, you know that the Chinese niggas, they have the, it's like the thing with the big ass buttons and shit. I don't even know what that whole called. Bro, you had to but show me, Twin. I damn near feel like I know what you're talking about, though. Y'all niggas hard, bro. Like, that's a hard ass lifestyle look. Twin, your ass was just airborne as fuck. <laughs> No, you didn't. Nigga, I would have them flew my ass into the bushes. All righty. Oh! I told y'all he gonna get that bitch. Y'all gonna have that bitch again. Okay. 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 Huh. Oh, shit. So much shit going on at one time. What the fuck? Oh yeah, twin. I don't want to mess up your mojo. I'm so sorry. Say, <laughs> so, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This man is coming flying out this goddamn bowl every time. You said what? I said your ass coming flying out the bowl every time. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Oh! Are you landing that bit? Yeah. Now that was some hard shit, twin. Hey, you twin. Every, every time somebody tell me see me on TikTok, twin, just let me know I'm doing the right thing. What they say? That's uh law of attraction, twin. I feel like that just means we on the same frequency. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's so crazy because I like watching niggas that skateboard, y'all. Because at one point in time I used to skateboard and I really was very free within my life. Not to say I don't feel free now, but you know I'm kind of limited and restricted. I'm not as free as them, y'all. They is really like they're living, y'all. For real, for real. This is like they really living. That nigga don't even know his goddamn at name on Instagram. That's how that's how in life in living this nigga is, y'all. I'm so goddamn into the fucking internet and out of tune with my goddamn I swear to God, I twin. Bro, fuck I, that. I the fact that he didn't know his at name, twin, yeah. that told me everything I need to know, twin. That means I'm too in tune with the wrong shit, twin. That nigga don't give a fuck about Instagram, nigga. He don't know his at name, twin. What the hell? I'm out this bitch worried about my algorithm and my next paycheck and shit, man. This nigga has said, I don't know, I don't even know what my fucking at name is. Well, goddamn it. I no wouldn't make me feel like I'm worried about that the wrong was not shit. My name to him, I would not remember my shit neither. That real though. I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. Niggas like this is the best friends to have, y'all. These niggas be so cool, y'all. They just live life free. And then, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all do this every day, right? Hell yeah. yeah, pretty much. My fucking point, y'all. Y'all can't tell me this ain't some fire ass shit to pull up to every day. But yeah, y'all, it let me know that I'm doing the right shit when people tell me I'm watching my content because it just let me know that I'm on the right frequency or I'm got down your feet moving in the right direction and shit. That's what I say. But, look, as we got down, got a place to go, things to see. We even get the hell on, y'all. Yeah. Bro, the fact that people that skateboard know me makes me happy, y'all. That, that let me know I'm doing the right shit, boy. Because people like this don't be giving a fuck about us, twin. Oh, twin. Twin, when I tell you, like, when it really come to, like, vloggers and streamers, twin, do you not know we don't get no respect in this world, twin? Niggas don't know who we are, twin, so, like, I feel so good, twin. I mean, I'm really doing something. Hell, yeah. That's some hard shit. I ain't gonna lie. Twin say he want to talk to you, bro. Hell, yeah, he talking to me. What the hell going on, brother? Twin, I just love you so much. It's like, you, you were really... I love you, too, nigga, shit. I appreciate the support. I promise you to God, man. <laughs> I appreciate that shit, twin. I promise you that shit big to me, twin, like... 
it's one thing just to be able to like see the people supporting me from the outside twin but like be able to hear y'all voices and shit twin i appreciate this shit just seeing how ecstatic you was seeing my face twin like that shit was crazy to me that shit motivate me to keep going gang hey look though you gotta say hey to you two twin you probably be watching these bitches but your own one yeah that shit hard y'all hey look keep supporting me twin i appreciate that shit like a motherfucker i promise you i do that's love, Twin. Yeah. Bro, that's hard, Twin. I appreciate you for making that call for me. Oh, he a tattooer? Yeah. That's hard. Bro, see y'all niggas just be doing shit, bro. What the hell? Let me in the middle like a sandwich. I'm a motherfucking fuck. Ooh, I'm talking my camera like that. Hey, YouTube. It's gonna be a little light skinned holocaust in this bitch. <laughs> be done sent her ass up. Let me get the fuck out. Like I said, hop out the motherfucking car and get swiffing on your ass. I'm scared. You talking about swiffing and shit, y'all. Where the hell this girl from, y'all? Who the fuck y'all got me in the back seat with? The Stop. real one. Nigga said I went to go do a photo shoot. So I hired him and became passenger seat mm -hmm. princess. Bro, shut the fuck up. Who you talking to? Those she clapped when she get mad. She's yeah. a problem. Get me out of the car, twin. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all watching this right now, first of all, you a real one. Because that mean you made it to the end of the vlog, man. Y'all let me know if you made it to the end of the vlog by going to the comment section and putting ghost potato. Ugly. I know that shit random, but we be having to make sure that these folks ain't lying about watching the videos for real. Shout out to all the real supporters, though. Hey, before we leave, though, I just want to let y'all know, bro. This vlog really was just crazy to me because while I was editing it, I really got to see, like, just how much people support me and how big and diverse the family that I grew through this internet shit is, like. To think that there's 30 and 40 year olds that stop me outside and tell me to like keep doing what I'm doing because it's inspirational and motivational is crazy to me because I would never think that I'd be able to touch somebody twice my age. You know what I'm saying? But to even see the fact that females watch my content, the diversity in like the people that watch it, like skateboarders, people with septum piercings, all the way to people inside your hood around the corner, you get what I'm saying? It's crazy to see how much like my words have spread just from me being genuine, bro. I've touched people of every color. I've touched people in every genre. I touch people that have different hobbies. I touch people that barely even be on the internet. Some of these people that be watching my vlogs don't even know their Instagram name, y'all. That's crazy. So like, it's just crazy to see what being genuine can do. It's a lot of people that want to be influencers. It's a lot of people that do content. But one thing I can say is, bro. My content has touched people all across the board, and that was my goal. My goal is to break the barrier between just being able to influence people my age. Just being able to influence boys. You get what I'm saying? I wanted to be able to influence people all across the world, and this shit only getting bigger. And one thing I can tell y'all is I'm respecting and understanding my process, and this job ain't never going to be over, y'all. There's 8 billion people in the world, people being born every day. And one thing I can say is, bro... My job ain't done until I've reached every person in the world or at least died trying. So I'll be on here yapping and giving y'all free game. And I'll be on here teaching y'all about life until the day I leave this earth. Even as an old man, I'm still be doing the same thing. I just want to tell y'all that I love y'all and I appreciate y'all because y'all took time out y'all day to even give me a chance to hear what I was saying. It started off with just 100 views and to think that now we where we at, I would have never expected that anybody would care to hear my opinion, thinking that at one point in time I used to be an outcast in my eyes. I used to be the one that was overlooked. I wasn't a popular person per se. And I just really just always felt like I was different. You get what I'm saying? Everybody different, but I always felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. And it's it's cool to be able to say now, like, I found my target audience and I found people that relate to me and enjoy watching what I do. You get what I'm saying? So... During my little yap session, I just want to tell y'all how much I love y'all. I want y'all to keep supporting me. And as I tell y'all, every time y'all meet me in person, like, I support y'all too. Anything y'all want to do, you can do it. The whole point of me making these vlogs is not to show y'all my life, but to show y'all that the life that I'm living at one point in time was something I couldn't even envision for myself. So if I could do it, you could do it too. To the person sitting in the room, to the person at work, to the person in the cafeteria, I don't care where you at. I got skin, bones, and bleed blood the same way y'all do, and we all got the same 24 hours in a day, so I do this shit to let y'all know that it's possible. All I want to say is, man, if you not subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Welcome to the Ghost Family, and to the people that are sub, man, y'all already know. I tell y'all a thousand times, bro. I love y'all. We only getting bigger and better. We on the road to 100K subs, and we just getting closer, y'all, man, so keep spreading the content. Keep subscribing. Keep commenting. Man, just keep interacting, bro. All we doing is pushing and we getting this shit out farther, man. And all I can tell y'all is I'm very appreciative, man. Like, comment, and I see y'all in the next day in the life of Casper, man. No cap. Y'all be safe out there.